All right, what's going on, guys? Today we're taking another look at a Converge EX series figure. This is EX20, the Queen Mantha. Uh, these are the larger Converge mobile suits, usually like mobile armors, things like that, that aren't sold in just the regular Converge sets. So they're sold separately like this. This one's quite large, actually. I think this was going to be quite surprisingly large, considering just the way that it looks. I mean, I'm not like normally thinking that it's that big. It looks like similar to the Kshatriya, right? But it's actually much larger. The Kunmantha in general is a design that I'm not always a really big fan of, but I do really like the look of it here in Converge form. One thing that's always uh, kind of bothered me about it is that it always looks like it has some weird kind of like grasshopper mustache bug face thing here on the chest with this kind of front bit here and the two eyes there. It always looks really weird to me, but I think smashed down here more in Converge form, it's looking a lot better. So uh, cool box art here on the top. Very nice there with the eyes light lighting up like so. Here on the side, you can see it does have uh, a couple of beam swords there as well, beam sabers on the back. There's some design there. We'll, of course, pop it out of the box and see how it all looks. So, oh, here on the back, you can see another picture there of the front and back, how it's going to look. So, yeah, I don't, it's, I'm having a really hard time, like, imagining in my mind how big this is really going to be compared to other ones. So, I'm really interested to see uh, just how big this is going to be when it all comes together so here we have some of the parts here you can see the binders uh, sword parts these parts are which are very well connected that looks like the head in there because the head has some uh, more fine parts there it's more protected uh, there's the body and the arms and the backpack and back skirt sort of similar to the cubile and of course if it will come out we have our bandai gum and our instructions for putting it together. But this thing, uh, some of the mobile armors in the EX series will like change form and things like that. We've seen that with the Devil Gundam and others. Uh, this one doesn't really have any different forms. You just kind of have just the one single form and you just have the option of whether you want to uh, have the swords equipped or not. I think when they're not equipped, it looks like they're able to be stored in the um, binders on the shoulders, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at this stuff here. Okay, so here's how the main body is going to look when it all comes together. I really, really like the look of this. It's not as like super detailed as some of the other figures that I've seen. Like um, you'd think like all these, there's some large areas where there's not like, it's not filled with little details and panel lines and things like that, uh, as some of the other ones in the line have been. So I kind of like that. Uh, it does make this look a little bit different. I think that's maybe one reason too why, um, just looking at the images of this, it doesn't seem as large because um, some of the other ones with there being uh, with it having a larger size, they're able to put more details on it. And with this one looking like a little bit less detailed, they kind of made it look a little bit smaller, if that makes sense. Uh, another thing that is that this uses uh, separate plastic aside from like the soft vinyl, which is made up of pretty much everything on here, except for this one part underneath the back skirt uh, is actually a harder plastic. Uh, we saw that also with the Neo Young, Converge Neo Young also used two different types of plastic, but you can see some really nice pre-painting here, some red inside the back of there, um, yellow bits around here and there, this lighter green, uh, some red here on the front there, of course, as well. As you saw up underneath the feet, a lot of really nice detail uh, from no matter which angle you look at the kit. And the other thing, I tested this to see if the eyes light up under UV light. I shined my, uh, shown my, what did I shined my UV light <laughs> on the eyes and they don't light up, unfortunately. So I think those are going to be kind of dark, but uh, if you did want to repaint them, the actual, actually the front of the head comes off pretty easily. So that would give you really easy access to the eyes there. Or even if you really, like if you were really ambitious, if you wanted to just kind of carve out the inside of the head, it's plenty big and you could dig that out, uh, wire it up with your own LED inside there. I could definitely see that being possible. Uh, if you're up to the task, you have, I think those eyes are clear, uh, so you would be able to wire that up. I think that is a clear part. It's just painted on the back uh, with some silver to kind of help that to glow a little bit, but still those eyes are not super visible. But what I wanted to show you here with the binders, these are actually also in that harder plastic rather than the soft vinyl. So I don't know if you can hear that. It's a little bit different sound, a little bit different feeling to these, but the Overall look is completely the same. Uh, here's how it looks with one of the sword handles plugged into the binder there. So I'm just gonna pop this on this side and just gonna look like that there. And we do have option hands. So these hands are just closed fists, but then we have a set of holding hands for holding on to the swords. So what you'll have to do is just take off this part of the handle, slide that into there. It's quite tight. So I'm not sure how, uh, if that might be stripping away some of that yellow paint on that. Hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be okay. And then we'll just switch this hand. 
And there you go. And then once the binders are plugged into there, these tubes, which are actually connected to, to the shoulder, uh, will connect into the binders there as well and look really cool. Really, really like the look of this. It's quite cool. Now let's take a look at some size comparisons to see how this compares to some other figures. Okay, so here's a lineup of just a few other Converge figures from the EX series. Obviously, the EX Neo's Young being still very, very much the largest among them. The Devil Gundam, as you can see, also not really coming in all that big. And the uh, Full Armor Devil Zeta, which is actually Converge, uh, number EX number 21 actually after the Quimanta you can see looking quite small indeed in comparison so it's really it's kind of right in the middle of the road in terms of its size for the EX series but it's still pretty sizable the Neo Zen is just very very big for a converged figure anyway so that about does it for this video, guys. I'm really, really happy with this. Like I said, I'm not really super into the Queen Mantha always, but I really like the look of it here in converged form. I think it's going to look really good as well. Of course, once it's detailed up with some panel lining in there, some decals, so filling in some of that space by just adding some of the little details and everything like that it's gonna look very very nice so i'm quite happy with this guys uh if you are wondering where i got this i usually buy my converge figure stuff from hlj um they usually have you know, all the new stuff that comes out so i just pre-order it uh, usually whenever i see anything come up on there so uh thank you so much for watching hopefully this was helpful for any of you guys who are maybe interested in this figure or just the line in general i highly recommend them they're really really cool figures uh and that's gonna be it for the video guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>